Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in to check out this video. This is the removal of a bald faced hornet nest from a client's house. Plus, we're going to be doing an in depth explanation as to what bald faced hornets actually are pertaining to being yellow jackets. Um, there's a lot of misinformation out on YouTube and out on the internet, and it gets really confusing for people. So, I'm going to be cutting some nests open and showing you the insides and comparing them to other yellow jacket nests to show you the similarities, plus contrasting them with hornets, the only true hornet in the United States. So that way you guys can see the difference between the different species. Plus I have my chickens and a squirrely squirrel. Here's the video, check it out. Hornets, hornets hurt a little bit more than bees. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't know, I don't yeah. want to. No, I was about to say, it's not something you want to know on first hand, but... We'll take your word for it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So what's the difference between, like, a hornet and a yellow jacket? I mean, I know a little bit, uh, but not a lot. I was more asking for... Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, like, a hornet and yellow jackets, they're all wasps. So they're all the same type of insect. Okay. But um, hornets are a little bit bigger. Yellow jackets a little bit smaller, and okay. they build their nests differently. So even between, there's just 150 different types of yellow jackets. Oh, wow. So, but each species does something different. They one builds inside cavities, one's built in the ground. Some will build up in trees, just like that one. Okay. Even even they they're not really hornets. They're yellow jackets. Oh, okay. So they're called bald-faced hornet, which is just a layman's term. But okay. Yeah, they're uh, they're technically a yellow jacket. Okay. <laughs> All right, so typically with any removal that I do, um, this wasn't a big nest. It was actually an early season nest. So you guys are actually seeing a removal from probably late July, early August. But um, so this particular nest was nestled up almost uh, the second story of the house. So it was up pretty high on the ladder. Um, and I was zoomed in pretty hard with my camera. Um, so this is a bald-faced hornet, or AKA Dolica Vespula maculata, which is an aerial nest building yellow jacket. Um, so typically when I start to go into these kinds of nests that are this high up, um, I'm actually holding the ladder with my right or holding the vacuum with my right hand and vacuuming with my left. Um, since the nozzle was pretty much right in the entrance way, uh, they didn't really get a chance to swarm. They pretty much flew right into the nozzle except for right here where you see them kind of coming out because the, uh, the vacuum actually got, got plugged, um, plugged that is. Um, so I just try to vacuum up as many of the foragers as I can and getting the numbers down the best I can because I really don't want to have too many left over flying around um, once the nest is removed because they really don't know where to go after the nest is gone. So I try to get as many as I can, then remove the nest, and then uh, just kind of take pick up the stragglers as they come. So you can still see here, there's probably about, I don't know, maybe 40, 30 or 40 adults flying around. So as long as I leave a little bit of the nest material, like the envelope up in that, um, in the crotch of that uh, overhang, um, they will congregate there. As you can see here, they're congregating up in that spot. Um, and they really have no means to swarm anymore because they're, there's no pheromone response. I took away the uh, pheromone marker, which was the nest. So they have no reason to swarm anymore. Now they're just kind of flying around in confusion. Um, they're not. They're not like dive bombing me. They're not. Uh, they're not trying to attack me by any means. So they're really just looking for the nest. Um, they're like, I know it was here somewhere. <laughs> but since they can, um, they can smell the envelope. They know that, that that's the location. So usually, anytime I'm done with a removal, especially a nest that's connected to the outside of a house, I, I clean up the. Uh, I clean up the fascia and the and the soffit for the customer. Um, this is sped up, obviously, but uh, yeah, just try to make it as tidy as I can. That gets callbacks that way, and people promote me better when when uh, I clean up their property afterwards. Okay, so the first thing I like to explain about bald-faced hornets is their true name, which is Dolica vespula maculata. Um, when people say bald-faced hornet, it gets confusing because since that is more of a layman's term, it was just a generic name that was given to them because they are similar to hornets. Um, but they're really not hornets, they're yellow jackets. And so the best way to understand this is that yellow jacket only refers to the color of the 
insect. But the true name for yellow jacket is Vespula. So Dolico Vespula maculata is a bald-faced hornet and has Vespula in it, which is a yellow jacket. So what I have here are actually two different species of yellow jacket, not hornet. These are both yellow jacket species nests. This one is Dolico Vespula arenaria, which is a common aerial nest building yellow jacket. So this nest is a bald faced hornet nest, Dolica vespula maculata. And you can see that they build virtually the same type of nest. Now an unfair advantage, is some people are gonna say that this nest is clearly smaller than this one, but this nest was just taken down a lot sooner in the season than this one was. This one was one that I relocated here at my house. So it was able to get full size, full term. This one I relocated to my parents' woods but it, uh, it kind of failed after about two months of being in the location that I relocated it to. But you can see they're both on the exact same type of tree. So they both chose to build on an arbovitae. They both use a comb. They start with a comb and then they build the envelope around it and make it in this conical shape. So let's cut into both of them. So as you can see, they are virtually identical in how their structure is made. So this nest, being a early term, so it hadn't really grown all of its comb layers yet. Uh, this one had started out. These are both aerial nest building yellow jackets. Dolica vespula arenaria, the common aerial nest building yellow jacket, and Dolica vespula maculata, aerial nest building white faced yellow jacket or bald faced hornet. So once these nests are growing, you see now this one was planted up on the side of a building like this. And this was the entry hole here in the front. Of course, it looks a little bit tattered, but that was the entry hole. And then when you open it from the back side, you can see the entranceway and all these little chasms and things. That's how they would build this nest to, to grow around the comb. So you pop this open like that, and you can see all the chasms and things inside. This is what the comb looks like on the inside of, the, on the inside of that paper envelope. Now this has come off. So they would start building this first, then they would start adding this comb. And you can see this is queen comb. So they'd be building the layers of the envelope on the outside of this as they build the comb structure. So even though that the comb started out about this size and they built the envelope around it, as the comb needed to be bigger, they would actually start chewing down these inside layers of envelope. So you can see all these little structures in here. They would start chewing that out and regurgitating that into making the comb. So you notice that the comb is solid. It's solid color. However, the envelope has many different colors. It's striped. So when they would regurgitate after chewing this up to make this, it no longer had the stripes to it and the multicolors. Now it's solid. There's another misinformation that bald-faced hornets or yellow jackets or hornets in general, that they are primarily dineural, meaning that they are only up during the daytime. That's not true. Um, they are all the social wasps or eusocial wasps are what we call cathameral, meaning every, every individual in the nest is sporadically active or inactive. They're not just all up during the daytime and all go to bed. Dolica vespula maculata or bald faced hornet, at the end of the day, they all fly into the nest. That's true. They all do go into the nest. However, there's a frenzy of activity sporadically throughout the day and night inside the nest. So during nighttime, they're chewing down these inner walls. They're regurgitating that and building more comb. And then the queen is laying more eggs. There is no everybody sleeping all at the same time. It's a, it's a misnomer. So I hope that clears some things up because a lot of people suggest in my videos, just wait till nighttime and spray them because they're all asleep. They are all in the nest. That's why nighttime attacks work on bald-faced hornets, but they are not all asleep. All right, you guys can see here, these are virtually identical in their construction and their style. So these are both yellow jackets. So this is Dolica vespula maculata or the bald-faced hornet. And this is Dolica Vespula arenaria, or the common aerial nest building yellow jacket. They're both 
aerial nest building yellow jackets. Their envelope is very similar. As you can see, look how look how so close those colors actually look. Let's compare the bald-faced hornet here with a true hornet nest. So this is a true hornet nest. This is the Vespa crab row, also known as the European hornet. So this is a real hornet nest. This is a yellow jacket nest. Look at the difference in structure. Look at the difference in materials that they use. Not only colors matter. So this is the difference in species. This is the bald-faced hornet. This is Delica vespula arenaria. And this is the European hornet. So if these were both hornets, look how humongous this queen is compared to this queen. Let's look at their face. So there's the queen of the bald-faced hornet. Next to the queen of the European hornet. Very similar faces, but if we're judging solely by color, that's yellow. Very similar to a yellow jacket, but this is a hornet. This is a yellow jacket. This is also a yellow jacket. All right, so let's compare the faces of the two different yellow jackets side by side. So let's look at the two faces side by side here. Eerily similar. They're both yellow jackets. All right, so I hope that it kind of helps you guys understand a little bit about um, these different species. So yellow jacket, yellow jacket, hornet. The only hornet in the United States and two different aerial nest building yellow jackets. Well, I was wondering if you were coming in to lay an egg. Because people were wondering about that. Hey, Ginger. Oh, Ginger. This is actually a horse trough that they lay in. They don't lay in the actual coop. Okay, I'll let you go. Enjoy laying your egg. Let me cheese it. Squirrely squirrel. Nice Humphrey. Don't hide the cheese it in my clothes, please. Don't hide them between my legs either. <laughs> That's where he hit it. <laughs> I am please. Don't crawl up my sweater, please. Oh, crazy squirrel, squirrel. why you think I'm a tree.
Hey, Squirrely Squirrel. Hey, Squirrely Squirrel. Superstardom's glamorous. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in to check out this video. If you guys enjoyed this content, drop in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you have suggestions for future videos or things you'd like to see me cover, also drop in the comments and let me know. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so and hit that bell notification. That way you guys can get updated anytime I do post a video. If you guys are continuing subscribers, thanks so much for tuning in to check out my videos and supporting my channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.